Good evening to Marco. This is Alex Bingham here at Terry Hendricks Chrysler in Archibald, Ohio. I want to give you a real in-depth overview here of the 2005 Magnum since you would be coming from a distance. Uh, I want to make sure you know exactly what you're coming to look at. Uh, so I'm going to be real in-depth here with this video. I'm going to be really picky. Um, not to try to devalue the vehicle or anything like that. I just want to, like I said, accurately represent it as much as possible. So we'll start here from the front passenger side. Uh, does have, you know, some scuffs there, a little bit of cosmetic impurity, uh, nothing massive. We'll make our way around here, give you a nice profile. Overall, cosmetically, uh, the condition's definitely pretty solid, especially for the year for the mileage. Not anything uh, majorly excessive that we see a lot of the times with older vehicles. Looks like some scrape there you do have a tow hitch on the back it is missing the rear windshield wiper onto the driver's side now see a light chip in the paint again uh, most of this is pretty superficial simply cosmetic keep walking around looks like the window cover here is uh, has a bit broke off and onto the bumper again. Looks like a light scratch there. Some light cracks in the bumper. Very, very light. Doesn't catch my thumbnail or fingernail, excuse me. Take a look at the hood here. Doesn't look to be any paint bubbling or excess stone chipping or bug etching. That's a good sign. Uh, we'll go ahead and hop onto the interior here. Now I wanted to show you the key. I'm not certain if we have two of these. I'll double check. Uh, but from what I understand, this key does not currently work. Uh, I had to manually unlock the door, as you can see there. So I'll go ahead and unlock the vehicle. So the power locks do work. The key fob uh, just may need replaced. So on to the interior. Does seem to be a light smoky odor uh, now on my nose is not super strong to that sort of thing uh, so i can definitely have somebody else put a second opinion on it if you would like uh, but it does seem to be a faint smoky odor no rips tears punctures there in the back seat light discoloration uh, but nothing excessive pop up here onto the front we'll double check power seat still works in all directions as you can see there. So all of this is in working condition. Upholstery is clean. And again, on the passenger side, you've got your sunroof, no cracks. Headliner is clean. We'll go ahead and fire it up for you here. Now keep in mind, um, you know, this is a 2005, $5,500 vehicle. 101,709 on the odometer, so pretty low miles for the year. Uh, you got your AC blast in there. I'll see if that starts to cool down, uh, but it's at least working. Radio's working, that's good to see. Take a look here, does seem to be one engine light on. I'll double check to see if I can get you some more information on that, uh, but otherwise dash looks clear. Turn signals work. Windshield wipers on the front in working order. Jet still working. Sunroof opens and closes, and it is sealed. We've had some rain here over the last couple days. Uh, nothing seeping onto the inside here. Does look to be some of the original owner's manuals in there. That's always slick to see. That way, in case you have any, you know, uh, specific questions about the vehicle. Center console here, pretty clean. You got lots of room. That pops out, little cubby there. I'm gonna open the hood here for ya. If I can uh, find that hood latch. And then we'll see what's cooking under there. Again, I'll get the repair order over to you. That way you know exactly 
what that engine light is. Now bear with me as I try to open this hood with one hand. Alrighty, sorry about that. So we'll pop the hood open. Engine looks clean. You can hear it's running well. Doesn't seem to be any knocks or anything like that. We do change oil filter, cabin air filter when we bring them in. Close that baby up. Again, pretty nice vehicle I would say for a 2005 with 100,000 miles Consider the price range it's in. Um, you know, no excessive cosmetics. Uh, like I said, I'll definitely get you some more information on that check engine light, but I uh, just wanted to make sure if you're taking the drive, you know exactly what you're coming to look at and set the proper expectations up front here. If there's any other questions I can answer, any information at all that I can provide for you, do not hesitate to reach out. I look forward to working with you and I'm certainly happy to help.